So I'm going to start by using my Paul Mitchell leave-in conditioner. This is the conditioner leave-in moisturizer. It's a nice pretty blue color, but it goes on clear. So that's why I like it because it doesn't dry white or leave a white residue. Um, and it makes my hair super soft and shiny. So I apply that throughout the entirety of my head. And then after that, I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel. And this is the Argan Oil version but I mean the olive oil one works just the same I, I think all the colors work the same to me uh, but I like to use this to slick my edges I feel like if you slick your edges it makes it look like you tried a little harder than you really did um, <laughs> and I mean who doesn't want their edges to be laid right lay them edges girl come on now so I apply that on my edges and around the back of my head because the back of my hair is really short so it's not really doing anything I can't really like curl it up like I'm gonna do the rest of the hair so I just slick it down all the way around I mean the back doesn't really slick like the front does it still curls up anyway even though I can't see it so I don't know what I did but anyway I brush that down and then I'm gonna get to the top part so you could leave it like this if you wanted to have a more fluffy frizzy look I'm not about that life I like for my hair to be juicy and plump and full of life I like for my hair to be shiny and to have a moisturized look to it I like for it to look like it's well kept you know um, because if it's dry and it looks dry it especially with the color in it when my hair was not colored it would look okay when it was just normal but when it's when it's colored like this you gotta make sure your hair looks moisturized I put gel throughout my hair and then I take pieces of my hair and I clump the curls together and I pull them and um, Curl, curl them around my finger this is called finger coiling and this helps to define the curl and give your hair a more uniform pattern when you separate the curls and actually define them piece by piece it helps to give you a more uniform look and I like that look that's why I do that and so I'm just wrapping my curls around my finger and defining them and making them look more bouncy and full of life and yeah that's pretty much it I don't do much else to it um, so yeah, I just do this through my whole head and it takes me about five to 10 minutes to do it. And it lasts all day. It usually doesn't get frizzy unless I get it like super wet and all of the product washes out because of course this is water soluble products. So when it gets wet, the products do melt. Um, but I find that it lasts all day and I don't really have any product problems with frizziness or anything like that. Of course, if you like your hair frizzy, it doesn't matter. And then to maintain it overnight, I just usually tie down my edges um, with a scarf or something or I'll put a scarf on over the whole thing and then in the morning I'll wet it and just finger coil it over again the product lasts for about two days before it starts getting flaky and nasty I don't usually have to do this every day um, so that's why I like it because it's so easy it's just so easy I love it and for those of you who wanted a little bit of an update on my hair um, I will give you that I feel like a lot of times people watch watch hair tutorials and don't really know much about the person's hair so I kind of wanted to like, give a little background on my hair first because apparently this is like magic people ask me all the time what did you put in your hair how'd you get your hair to curl like that I don't know I just washed it I'm not mixed with anything a lot of people ask me like well you know you have really nice hair what are you mixed with you don't have to be mixed with something to have nice hair can we just stop with the what are you mixed with how did you get your hair like that like some people just have, you know, nice curl patterns. I'm black. <laughs> um, but if you guys do want to know a little bit of backstory about my history, my, my mom's grandmother was Native American and her grandfather was French. And then my dad's side of the family, they're mostly country. Uh, a little bit of Irish in there too. Technically, this look that I have, I have faux freckles and red hair right now, but technically, like, I should have this for real. Like, and this is how I want my kids to look. If my kids come out with freckles and red hair, like, that would make my life. My curl type, I don't know my curl type. Um, my friend keeps telling me that I'm a 3C. I feel like if anything, I'm 3C all right here, and then right here, this is a 4A. I feel like my hair is a mutt, so I don't, I don't know exactly what my curl pattern is. You guys can tell me and let me know, but I think that I'm a 4A. I don't like to categorize my hair anyway because it's hair. Went natural when I was born. Contrary to popular belief, I've never had a perm. There are videos that I've shown you guys my hair and it's looked damaged and distressed. I dyed it like four or five times in one year, so my curls were like, I grew it out of the bob and it was about like right here. I want to say 
about four or five inches. Like it grew to like my shoulders. So it was long um, in January and in February. And then in March, I decided I wanted to start cutting it again. So I went back to a shorter bob. I didn't like it. And so then I was like, screw it let's just cut it all off and I got a pixie cut around the end of March I basically just had a really nice pixie cut very Halle Berry TLC um, but I kept it black that whole time and though in the summertime I planned on dyeing my hair um, but I never got around to doing it because my stylist is like super awesome so she's always busy and I ended up just dyeing it like two weeks ago so this week would make a week and a half that I've had my hair this color. I want to say it's like a gingerish auburn color. It was not supposed to be this color. I was supposed to get my hair to be blonde. I will be going back this weekend um, to get my hair done again. When you lighten your hair, when you lift the color out of your hair, you're gonna damage it, of course. But for me, um, my curl pattern has not changed. My curls have not changed. They still look pretty good. Um, my hair is a little more dry to the touch. It's, it's still pretty soft. I do deep conditions regularly and I use Aussie 3 Minute Miracle to deep condition my hair and I love that. I do get it straightened when I get my hair done because I get a cut, I get a haircut, and I like for my hair to be cut to the style that it's gonna be in when it's straight. I'm not, I'm not gonna wear my hair natural in the winter time. I'm just not, like, that's not happening. It's way too cold in, in Chicago for me to be wearing my hair natural in the winter. My hair straightens pretty well and it doesn't really revert back quickly. Um, it takes a lot of moisture, like a lot of moisture for my hair to start frizzing up. I just recently went to Texas and my hair was straightened. It was flat ironed um, and I was sweating and my hair didn't revert back. And I tie it down at night. I make sure to tie it down at night. I make sure I don't get it wet and it stays straight for the most part. I dyed my eyebrows myself. I just had some developer and some um, bleach and so I just put them on my eyebrows and they lightened. I look scary with no makeup on because my eyebrows are super light. Um, so I feel like I have to wear makeup all the time now. Do I like my hair short? Yes, I love it short. It's so easy to me. It's very much the easiest hair that I've had my whole life. And I really like it. Does Cameron like it? Yes, he does. Um, he actually really likes my hair and I think because I like it so much he likes it if you guys are wondering what I have on at all I know a lot of people like to ask me what I have on so the contacts are from Misaki the pro series gold my lip color is NYX intense butter gloss in the color peanut brittle my earrings are from naked clothing everybody asks about these little tiny hoops that I have right here I got these from ASOS I'll put a link in the description box if they still have them. But they have some similar at H&M. I've, I've seen some at Forever 21. I've seen them on eBay and Etsy. So you guys can literally get them from anywhere. Do your Googles. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. I think I covered everything. But if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.